I kind of, I'm awkward right now because I don't know how to start this video. It's not one of my normal videos, it's a special video. So I know you guys are watching, but also this is a VidCon judge watching me right now. Like, I'm on my best behavior right now. Like, I'm gonna sit up straight, I'm gonna look straight into the camera lens, I'm gonna have my proper face on, and I'm ready to do this. So my name is Leo Williams, and I've been going to VidCon for the last, like, five or five years. And I've been having the time of my life. And every single time I go to VidCon, I watch the panels because they're the most interesting and like beneficial things that you can do at VidCon. Like, besides from like, meeting everyone there, like watching the panels, you get so much knowledge and everything. And so I watch the panels, and I always would imagine myself up there. You know, like I have to be up there one day. And now I finally have the opportunity, and that's what I'm doing now. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, Leo, why did you make your video literally the day before the deadline? And no, it's not because I was procrastinating or anything, it's because I just want to be the freshest thing on the VidCon judge's mind. It might have been a little bit of procrastination, but you know, I just want to be the freshest thing on the VidCon judge's mind. So I'm going to answer a few questions on how it is to be a less than famous YouTuber. Because a lot of people, when they look at the YouTube homepage, they just see like the top faces, you know, just bombarding them, you know, but there's so much more in this such a different experiences for YouTubers like me, you know, at the lower level. A lot of people don't know, you know, you don't have to be a famous YouTuber to have something important to say, and that's what I'm hoping to bring to this panel. The first question I'm gonna answer is, what are some of the privileges of being a smaller creator? So of course the most obvious answer is, being able to connect with your viewers on like a more personal level. At this level here, I feel like my viewers are like family, like, I actually look forward to the comments from every single one of my viewers, like, I know them by name, I know when there's a new person there, like I know when to say welcome to my channel, welcome to the family, you know? That's a really, that's a really good feeling. But what most people don't say is that I actually feel that being a smaller creator, you, it benefits you on a creative level as well. If you're a big YouTuber, especially if you're known for one thing, like if you're known for prank videos, like you're not going to be able to do something else. I mean, you can, but it might have a jarring effect on your community, you know? But now, like, being a smaller YouTuber, like, I, I'm free to experiment with it. everything that I love to do because I get to find myself, which is just, it's so freeing. When I first started making YouTube videos, I started off with these big dynamic skits. I'd wear, like, 17 wigs per video and play every single character and do, like, split screens and stuff like that. And then I evolved on to like vlogs and stuff and challenges. And I even made a couple of singing videos. I can't sing happy birthday, but I made singing videos. You know, it's, it's the freedom that you have as a smaller creator to do like what you want. I'm not saying that the larger YouTubers don't have the freedom, but it's just, it's so much easier, you know. And especially when your viewers feel kind of like your family, you know, they, they feel like they know you. It's, it's so much more personal and it's so much easier and I think that's definitely one of the privileges of being a smaller creator. How do you stick out in a sea of so many creators? So sticking out in the community is comes down to a math equation for me. 50% creativity, 50% individuality, and about like 30% networking. In case you couldn't tell, I failed math. Well that's gonna be it for my VidCon Less Than Famous panel audition video. I have a lot more to say, but the video has to be less than four minutes, so they're literally cutting me off here. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and giving me the opportunity to pursue something that I love, like being on a panel and sharing my experiences to a room full of people. That's a dream come true, and I honestly, I can't wait for VidCon. Okay, so I don't know how to end this video just like I didn't know how to start it. So I'm just gonna say, see you in three months in Anaheim. <laughs>